Well, folks, what an 80 minutes of roller coaster emotions. In fact, probably nearly to 85. What a wonderful game this rugby league is. An absolutely fantastic final. And that comes from me, a guy that was winning a good few quid with about two and a half, three minutes to go. And then OKR go and score. Unbelievable. But still, I was happy. I wanted Lee to win. Nothing against OKR, but I've already explained on here. Lee are much nearer to me. There's something about Beaumont that I like for all he's very marmite. And my cousin has supported Lee for many a year. Plus we, at the wire, have had some fantastic, fantastic players from Lee over the years. Some absolute heroes, some superstars, if you like. So I was pleased for Lee, I really was. Um, what were the thoughts on the second half? Well, I thought Lee was going to win by 8-10, to 10, I think I said at half-time. It looked like I was wrong, it looked like they were going to win by 6. Ultimately, they didn't. But there's just a couple of points that I'm, I'm not sure about. I mean, I think, was it Lamb's try in the second half? I've now watched it about 15 times, and I don't have freeze frames and so on and so forth on the skybox that I've got. And I'm not sure whether or not he dropped it over the line. He probably never but it happened that quick and they didn't show it from enough angles. I honestly wasn't sure. I'd love it to see it from the, the right-hand side of the pitch as we were looking. Sorry, the left-hand as we were looking to see whether or not he did drop that ball. The referee was right behind him but wouldn't have been able to tell from where he was. I'm sure he never, but I'd love to see it. There was a suspicion of a drop ball to me. Um, at the end there, um, it'd have been very unlucky on Lee if they'd, uh, the penalty had gone against him and they'd have gone up to the end, Hulk and scored a drop goal because it wasn't a ball steal. And then although many will uh, have a pop at the OKR guy for not kicking the ball out into touch, I can't. I, I like to see someone taking the chance. He wanted to get as far upfield as he possibly could to give his pack an easy six and hopefully get in front of the sticks and kick the winning drop goal. It never worked out. It's a shame. But I think that's what he was after. Um, and it wasn't crucial in the end because I think Lee missed a drop goal first before they actually finally got the drop goal. That was after the ball didn't get in touch. So it wasn't... It wasn't the the play that lost them the game. But no, just a fantastic final. Just absolutely brilliant. And as for Beaumont, I don't know. He puts his heart and soul into it. I know he's over the top. I know his dress sense is questionable. Um, Peter Andre thinks he dresses all right, as does Lewis Hamilton. And Ross Stewart thinks he's all right, Bobby Dazzler. But most of us wouldn't be too certain. But uh, I think he wears his heart on his sleeve. He's put a lot of money into the club and good luck to him. I also read a piece of him today that I quite like from 2016. Mind you, I also read that he was Britain's top double glazing salesman. I'm not sure about that. I worked with a man called Langley, Mr David Langley, and I've never seen better. But anyway, that's a different story altogether. But no, I thought, great final, great final, great finish, edge of your seat stuff, could have gone either way. And that is what Rugby League can do for you. Just a wonderful, wonderful showpiece. Absolutely well done, OKR. OK, you played to the 80 minutes, you played really hard, you give it your all. A bit more of a well done to Lee. Fantastic win. I bet Lee will be rocking tonight. There'll be some crazy, crazy nights over there, as old Kiss would say. Anyway, enjoy it, Lee. It's been a long time coming. A long time coming.